So it says express a 200 pound force. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the other unit system that goes from a point A, 416 feet, to point B, 124. Okay, so I'm giving you a little bit harder, harder uh, two sets of points to work with than the ones that I did uh, in terms of the unit vectors along the X, Y, Z axis. Okay, and that means I, J, K. So again, trying to make sometimes they may not tell you in, uh, according to I, J, K, but that's what uh, unit vectors are. Okay, and so your answers are plus or minus 160, plus or minus uh, 53, although they look like there's three pluses and one minus. And over here, three minuses and one plus in 107. Okay, so again, not not worried about the number, but worried about the sign, the um, with your uh, terms and things like that. Okay. Okay, so you're looking for uh, finding um, the force in terms of uh, uh, IJK. I kind of like the axes uh, where you kind of do it like this. Okay, and I've got uh, Z up here. I don't know why this one doesn't want to work today? And this is uh, Y out here, and X down here. That's a little bit darker. So we got X, Y, Z, and we're just going to go from A to B. And so what I'm going to do is just put uh, a point uh, here, uh, uh, A, and I'm going to put its coordinates, uh, 416. Okay, and over here, I'm just going to put point B. Okay, and I'm going to put its coordinates, uh, 1, 2, Four. Again, I don't I don't really worry about whether I'm you know in the right quadrant or anything. I'm just sort of putting two points on the page. We had um, in the example I had one here and then one in the the Y Z plane. But here now you've got one in three dimensional space and another one in three dimensional space. And what you want to do is sort of say, okay, my force F uh, goes through those two points. Didn't quite get get it right there on it. And the scale on um, uh, feet, uh, these are feet, uh, is not the same scale as pounds. So this force is just passing through these two points. And this is uh, force F. And you could actually put on here that you know what it is, 200, 200 pounds. Okay. okay. And so what you have is uh, uh, the force F is equal to magnitude times unit vector in along that direction. And what we have is, uh, well, we got our magnitude F. And what we have is, again, our vector A to B divided by its magnitude. Okay, This is equal to that. Okay, Because a unit vector is any vector in a direction divided by its magnitude will have a, a, a magnitude of one and be a unit vector. Okay, so um, okay, what I'm going to do is uh, um, I guess we just we could do just just f. Let's not get confused with the f in there already. Let's get the the f first. So uh, f again is equal to uh, a b divided by the magnitude of AB. So this is, and this arrow goes all the way across A and B, okay, because it means the vector A and B. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, like we said, we're going to take the coordinates of B and subtract the coordinates of A. Okay, so what we have is 1 minus 4 I, and we got 2 minus 1 J, and then we got 4 minus just put a plus on all there, 4 minus 6K. Okay. So 1 minus 4I, 2 minus 1J, 4 minus uh, 6K. And then we're going to divide by the magnitude, which is the square root of the sum of the squares. So what we have here is a, a minus 3. So we got a minus 3 squared plus 1 squared uh, plus minus 2 squared. Okay, and this actually comes out to be equal to the, and I'm going to leave it to here, it's the square root of uh, 14. Okay, we got 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and I'm just going to leave leave it that way. Uh, I'm going to leave it as, uh, this is comes out to be minus 3, so this is minus 3 over the square root of 14i plus 1 over square root of 14 j, because 2 minus 1 was j, and then minus 2 over square root of 14 
Okay. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna do all the arithmetic in one step, okay? Okay, so then I'm gonna move this up. Okay. Continue. Okay, so now what we've got is F is equal to two hundred pounds times this minus 3 over square root of 14 uh, I plus 1 over the square root of 14 J minus um, 2 over the square root of 14 K. Now just from the signs you could have uh, could go and look at the um, uh, if we did that up here. We didn't with with the signs that we had on the um, unit vector. We're just going to multiply by magnitude. We had a minus plus minus, so uh, so it's got to be either C or D minus plus, and this one's minus plus. Well, both of those are minus plus, and then the last one's a minus, so it's going to have to be C, right? I mean, we can multiply it out and verify it, but the the answer is going to come out to be C just from the signs on the unit vector. Okay. Well, let's go on and multiply that out. Okay. So now what we have is if we multiply this out, we will get basically to um, uh, whole numbers. We'll get to minus 160i uh, plus uh, 53j minus uh, 107k, and uh, that'll all be in uh, pounds. Because this that has unit, uh, the unit vector doesn't have any um, units because what you're doing up here is AB is in feet, AB is in feet, so they cancel, and so you end up with um, the unit vector doesn't have any dimensions. Okay, uh, but the uh, what you're going to multiply by uh, does. <laughs> I found, my, I found myself looking to the left here in my other monitor to see if there's anybody had a question. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Again, just it, it's the, the big thing is just to kind of draw you a picture. Okay, I don't think you can get away uh, with drawing the picture. They may give you a picture like this. They may give you a, a rectangular box or whatever, but um, uh, draw a picture. Okay.